Hey everybody, this is kind of a cool little ball python clutch that's hatching. Super Sunday, it's a female clown to a male fire spider. And so I see a couple out already and we've got one fire here. So these will all be a 100% het clown. So that's a fire het clown, which should make some pretty cool... I haven't seen any fire clowns before, I don't know that they exist. But honestly, I can't keep up with all you ball python breeders out there. So let's see what else we've got here. This is a very full egg. Doesn't look like much to me. The heck clown. So we're hoping to get, obviously, another fire spider. Ooh, that's a cool looking one in there. Oh, maybe it is. That's because if, if we get a fire spider, which are the two co-dominant morphs here, it'll be a hundred percent heck clown as well so we could breed it to a clown and hopefully get fire spider clowns in the next generation and those recessive morphs like clowns and stuff they really keep the value high because they're hard to reproduce unlike all the codom stuff that it's half wow. as much each year yeah look at that wow boy that is gorgeous that is look at that cool snake there's your fire spider, 100% het clown. I have no idea what that's going to look like, but it can't be bad. Let's see what else we got here. We can get a couple of uh, spider het clowns and stuff that I can sell to you guys. What we got there? I hope that's another fire. The fire again is a het for black eyed leucistic. So we've got a couple of fires in there. You breed two fires together, you'll get the black eyed lucies that are pure white, or sometimes they have a little bit of orange and yellow pattern to them with marble jet black eyes. So these, there's a lot of different things you can do genetically with these snakes. Oh, I got another one, I think. It looks a little smallish. But maybe it's just that the egg is too big. <laughs> yeah, it like oh, it's just a spider. Is it? Not a fire spider, is it? Yeah, it's hard to tell. It's pretty bright looking. It's not like that crazy looking thing. But he's got some nice, nice pattern to him. He might be a fire spider. He's he pretty light. Be. If he's not, he's a fantastic looking spider. So, let's see, one last egg. So if we got two fire spider heck clowns out of that, that's great. Even if he's just a normal spider, that's this is still a really exciting clutch. Pick these babies up from us and make new morphs when they're older. Ooh. <laughs> oh man, so that's got to be a fire spider there, right? I would think so. Boy, he sure looks good. He's got that aberrant head pattern. The fire spiders look similar to the bumblebees in a lot of ways but the fire gene is just it's a totally different gene so they as they grow they get a totally different look and and obviously it does different things as well so there we go we got a couple of fires or what's this one two fires yeah see that's an obvious fire right there two fires and three <coughs> spiders and they, it looks like at least two of them gotta be fire spiders this one I'm not too sure about uh, he'll have to come out of the egg and a normal heck clown so that's a pretty good clutch, wouldn't you say, Tim? That's a great clutch. Yeah, that'll, that'll be fun. Grow those up. If any of these are males and you got a nice big female clown, that's what you need. A fire spider het clown male to breed in just about 18 months to your bigger clown girls. You guys have a good one.